Hi guys and thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. My name is Pumi Dukwe. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a speaker, I'm a full-time marketing consultant and I'm a part-time business owner. My YouTube is for the woman who is working and running a business at the same time and just trying to find the balance in between all that. So today I'm going to talk about a very special event that has been happening for the past two months and a few weeks where I started a 72 day challenge and this challenge I started it because for the past 10 years since I've started the self-improvement journey I've really been struggling with the season of winter and I say to myself no man you know when you have those reflective moments and say i cannot be struggling about the same thing year in year out and that is how you know that you're not growing if the same struggles that you had the previous season or the previous years are exactly the same that is what we call stagnant you are not moving and with me that struggle of winter really impacted my next summer and my following year and my following year and i am not happy with that i was not happy with that i found out from one of my hr executives that you actually can get depressed from winter you can actually have a certain sort of deficiency because of the season that is winter i also listened to one of connie ferguson's um interviews i think it was on metro fm or car fm if i'm not mistaken and she talked about how she really really struggles with winter and that is how she started her fitness journey it was not even about her wanting to start a fitness journey it was just her trying to find a solution to her depressive state during the winter and i'm like oh i literally could relate like ah oh, i'm not alone so there's actually somebody who feels the same way you know and if you can handle winter if you are good with winter trust to you you know but i also think it's a natural thing like in summer i thrive like without even trying i'm I, i'm out of bed by 4 a.m without my alarm really but in winter i really have to push myself I really have to have a conversation and a struggle with myself every single day and I was tired with that. So I'm going to get straight into the good news. So number one, I'm going to show you the actual board. I hope you can see it. Okay. I hope you can see it. I hope it shows. I hope you can see it. Let me just also go around like this. I hope you can see it. I really hope. You are able to read it so in this board right one of the goals it was a 72 day number one it was for 72 days and i started in the middle of winter so the reason why i didn't start in the beginning of winter is because i in my head i thought i was going to do it without planning it without writing anything down without having a goal but one of my previous bosses um when i was working as a consultant as a business consultant he said to me, your brain was not made to remember things. You have to write things down. And we all know the saying that what you what you plan, what you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So I didn't plan anything from May until June. And that is why May went so bad. And I was like, nope, I don't want that. So I started the 72 day challenge after having a conversation with my friend. I think she was on a 75 hard challenge at the time. It was trending. There was an app for it where every day you take a picture. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't know why. Maybe I'll come into a space. But what I've accepted about myself is that I'm not a club person. Like, I'm not a collective. Like, I don't like doing things that everybody's doing at the same time. Like, so that's why I'm not part of a book club. I've always said this. I'm not part of anything at the gym. Or, like, I'm just not, like, I, I don't have, I don't share like such things with people like you know i just want to do a thing on my own so um it's 72 days i'm like okay she was on the 75 day challenge i'm like that's great so then i did my own and what i'm what what i'm struggling with in winter is number one was my eating habits like in winter i eat like nobody's business i eat a lot of carbs which is not in correlation with the body i'm trying to create which is not in correlation with the energy i'm trying to preserve which is not in correlation with the person i'm trying to become right so that's number one number two is that i work out and i don't enjoy it like i don't like the gym like i don't go to a gym like whoa that? like no i'm not 
a gym fanatic but i go five times a week because i have to and i never spend time at the gym more than an hour especially in the morning in the morning even if i do literally 59 minutes but when it hits the 59 minute point i leave the gym right so because i haven't been consistent with exercising and i haven't been even consistent with exercising in winter i said you know what let me just do 30 minutes workout minimum five times a week so even if i go over i won't even count that okay and then number three which is something i don't struggle a lot with but i do struggle with completion of books of reading books during the winter so i said you know what i'll also put in read bo a book 30 minutes a day right okay and then my bonus was going to be one youtube video for a week because i've been struggling with consistency on youtube as well so if i can kill it in winter oh summer baby come here so this started on the 19th of june 2024 and it ended on the 31st of august 2024 so it's a bit like from uh winter until us uh, uh, or autumn but next year we're gonna do better and start in may until july okay so i had three i had three or four rather points to measure remember the rule of success is that you can't or the rule of improvement rather is that you can't improve what you can't measure you have to track things down and the whole point of me creating this chart was so that i can track it down this is just a paper from a stationery i used uh what you call it sellotape to put it on my wall and i just used uh markers normal markers nothing special nothing expensive not costly in any way so i had four trackers right the one was doing all three on each day so all three are done, which is 50% carbs, 30 minute workout and 30 minutes of reading. And then I also had two as a, like only two as a major, which was only two of those done. So sometimes I would read and go to the gym and not look at my diet. Sometimes I would do my 30 minute workout and, 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 and eat properly, but not read. So that is like only two of them. And then there was only one where I just read that day or I just watched my dad. I didn't read, I didn't go to the gym. And then there was also nothing where literally that day it was just a nonchalant day, like, you know, YOLO day, you only live once. So I had literally four majors. And these were my results, okay? I'm gonna share with you. Oh, where's my diamond? Sorry. I'm going to share, this is a very explanatory uh, and very sketchy video, so please uh, excuse me. So my results were 40 days of the 72 days, I did all three. So that is 40 days of the 72 days. And for me, that is exceptional. Let us actually try to calculate that in percentage. Okay, this one is not off. Let us try to calculate that. I don't even know if the calculator is off. So 40 divided by 72 multiplied by 100. It says 55.55. So it's like 55%. I'm not sure if that sounds correct. But yeah, that is it in percentages. And then also um, 90 days of only two. So 90 days we are only did two. Let's also try to see that in percentage. Um, so 19, wait, 19 divided by 72 times 100, that is 26%. And then also 3 divided by 72 times 100, that is 4.7%. 4 and then um, 10 divided by 72 multiplied by 100. That is 13.8%, right? So that is a full, it gives you 100%. So 40 days of the 72 days, I did all three. Okay, this is winter, guys. This is my most difficult time of the year, like emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, physically, mentally, oh, you name it. It was the most difficult time of the year, okay? And then 90 days of only two and then three days of only one. So I just read that book or whatever. And then 10 days of doing nothing. And I'm so proud of myself because of that 10 days, I did mention that weekends don't count towards. So if you can literally imagine that I actually did well. Okay. And then I just want to mention that there was a week. I don't know if you guys remember where there was a week where it was a cold front in Johannesburg, how dang for that matter, and it was cold. It was the, where is it? It was 
one, two, three. I think the first, the first week of July. Yeah, I think that was the first week of July. It was extremely cold. That was the worst week I had for the winter. Like I wasn't watching. I was eating. Yo, I was eating dumpling. There's a lady who sells plates at work. I was buying her food, and her food is like dumpling and rice and all that starch and all those carbs you know and all that fatty meats like stew and all those things so i was eating that that whole week that was the worst week and then the best week was of the 72 day challenge was the first week of the challenge i was hyped i was hey like nothing could get in the way and also the last week like i really i'm like you know what i want to finish it off so clean i want to have a clean finish so the first week and the last week were the best weeks but in between there were really things happening that i allowed to get to me but there were days where i did not allow those feelings and emotions and whatever was happening into a frustration in my business what it was and the interesting thing also that it was also one of the peak time during the peak time of my business so girl i am proud of myself on how i'm handling winter and we are already getting into summer and i can already feel that i'm gonna have the best summer because i'm so motivated and you know you know what 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 reward does when you see that you've done good that gets uh what what do you call it that gets penetrated like when you do good you'll do even more good when you see those results so for me to have such a good winter i really props to me okay now i also want to share a little bit about what happened that was not so cutesy that was not so demure okay um i i found that sometimes it's not even like the season yes the season contributes a lot but the fight is really in the head you know for example i'm going to give you an example with gym in winter the only thing i have to do is get myself to the gym okay i don't have to be motivated i don't have to feel hyped and i've accepted that i will never ever feel like going to the gym in winter it will never be a thing like yo i am waking up today and i'm going to work it out i have accepted that that day is not coming i'll always not feel like it when it comes to the gym I, I, as opposed to reading like even now if i had to choose between doing this video and reading i would choose reading you understand so that comes very natural to me it's something that i really enjoy i find really interested i find so much joy in but i've accepted that so i had solutions to say okay my gym clothes are always ready my sneakers are always ready and gym is not far away from where i stay and when i get there as long as i'm in the door then i can do whatever it is that i have to do for that day but i've accepted that that you'll never ever feel like doing certain things regardless of the season you know it's just something that you don't want to do and i've also ac accepted that winter is not my season it's not a season that i thrive in winter is not a season that i enjoy winter is not a season that i and that's okay you can't love all seasons of your life in your life you can't be attracted or you can't be at your best at all seasons of your life and that for me is winter season okay and then the the good things that have come what has happened is i'm spending more time at the gym so i'm going because now i have to go and because i've accepted that i've never feel like it that means i'll go so spending more time what does that mean so remember in the beginning the goal was that i'm only going to go for 30 minutes right so in the beginning it was only 30 minutes a day but now i spend more than an hour at the gym without even realizing it and i can also go twice a day so sometimes i would go in the morning sometimes i would go in the afternoon only but some days i would go in the morning and in the afternoon some weeks i go every day the whole week so i'm spending more time at the gym okay and even if i haven't become a pro at the actual machines and the actual exercising the actual thing but the, because i'm spending time there and i don't have friends or chat at the gym i'm just working out you know so that is for me a very very good sign but also I've, re I've and, and this is like i think it's a high goal to oprah winfrey because i've literally become a weight watcher like i literally moderate my eating intake like i throughout the day i'm looking at what i'm eating i even somebody even found me at work comparing low-fat milk and 
a, a full cream you know i was literally looking at the dietary uh what's this insights and somebody was like and me like come on i was like then let's do, uh, without even trying without even because now i know what carbs do to me now i know what certain fats and certain foods do to me so i've literally become an eater in moderation and i've also become a weight watcher and i've never had real like i've never had like issues with my body or whatever but i don't want to get to a point where i don't see myself the way i used to see myself excuse me excuse me i don't see myself the way i used to see myself or i don't i'm not feeling good so i've never really had those physical um body issues but i don't want to get to a place where i would have to be in a state so i literally just exercise in moderation now i eat in moderation now i'm literally a weight watcher i if if maybe i had carbs on sunday i know that i can't have carbs for the next three days it's happening naturally even in my shopping even when i'm at a restaurant i literally look at what i'm taking in my body okay so that is very very good and also i've become a brand of healthy living and reading and being smart like people now come to me especially at work like what are you reading what are you eating how is it helping how can i join you know so it has become my brand and remember atomic habit talks about identity once you identify yourself with a certain thing that it's so much easier for you to do the thing or to become the thing so for example with the soda i don't drink a lot of acid drinks so now i can't even be seen eating drinking them because now i know that people are looking people are watching and that's one of the tactics of marketing so in the marketing world we use that to market but why not use it in your own personal life where you start to identify like i remember when i stopped eating maguena like um i think it's been seven years now i literally just said i don't eat them and i used to eat them but i literally just said to myself i don't eat my queen and i haven't had my queen in years and even when i do it's like once in a year or twice in a year at max you know because i've identified myself as somebody who doesn't do that particular thing all right but more than that like more than the emotional and the psychological it's also the person that i've become you know i'm really more happier in winter i've really seen the results in this winter i'm really so proud of myself and i will continue with challenges it doesn't necessarily have to be 72 day it won't necessarily have to be in winter i will continue um this september with challenges i will continue in october with challenges i'll continue for the rest of my year i also have difficulties in december and i know kobe bryant one of the world the greatest champion basketball champion um said that the difference between him and the next person is that even during off season he practices so i also want to be that girl i want to be the woman who is so excellent who is so good at what they do but i need to find out how the champions do it and kobe bryant said i practice during off season and i just value my time so much that you can't tell me anything don't tell me that december is for resting blah 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 yeah it's for you. you if you are okay with your life you are content with your life so relax all you want to but where somebody else is going or where i'm going i can't afford to to be relaxing at the same rate as the next person is racing because i'm far from the life that i'm going to live okay so yeah i'm very grateful that i started this challenge um tell me also i know there are so many people who would love to join we're going to do it again next year but next year we're going to start on the first of june and also let me know what other things we're likely to do the one thing i didn't mention though sorry about that was the bonus at the end and that is the bonus to do one youtube video i've done i think three youtube videos during the winter um and that's good you know that's not like excellent or great but that's also good because you can even if you can look at my youtube the inconsistency was bad you know it was so so bad so now i'm getting into my groove again and recording and putting in the hours and just literally the main aim is just to be consistent and then i'll try and i'll look at other things as well so yeah 
come with me let's continue with the 72 day challenge start a challenge in your life that is you versus you it's really about you and the life that you are trying to create it's really about knowing also and accepting your weaknesses or then your challenges that you experience as a person as an individual but you can't do that without being a reflective person you can't do that without actually analyzing your life and its results and where you are because what got you this far will not take you to the next level thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it if you're not subscribed yet i'm going to give you a second to please do one you are subscribed now please also share with your loved ones please like comment and have a beautiful time thank you so much and see you next time bye